Okay, so boys, we're going to have a look at how to use your calculator for doing scientific notation. So when you look at your calculator, always go to Shift, then Setup or Mode. Whoops, done something wrong there. We'll try again. Shift and then Setup and then 8 for Normal and just press 1 when they ask for 1 or 2. So what that does is get your calculator into normal mode, so we're just ready to start. Alright, so we're going to um, do a few questions from this exercise 5.09. I want you to write exercise 5.09 as a heading in your book, and we're going to do a few of these. So we're going to do question 1A first, so copy question 1A in your book, and now we're going to do it on the calculator. So we're going to press open bracket, 2, and then for times 10 to the power of, we're going to press the times 10 to the x button on the bottom of the calculator, and then we press 3 for the power of 3 and close the bracket. Then times, open bracket, 3, down the bottom, times 10 to the power of, 5, close the bracket, and press equals. Now that's the calculator answer, but you'll see up here in the question it says we want the answer in scientific notation. So we're going to look at this answer they've given us, and we can see here we've got one significant figure, just the six. So we want this to go into scientific notation, but we want one significant figure. So we're going to go shift mode. We want seven for scientific notation and we want one significant figure here. And there's your answer, 6 times 10 to the power of 8. The next question we're going to do is 1D. So we're going to clear our calculator first. We're going to go to Shift, Set Up, 8 for Normal, and 1. That gets our calculator back into normal mode. If we don't do that, it will still give us a, a scientific notation answer for every question we do from now on and it'll give it to one significant figure. And we may not want that. Okay, so we're back into normal mode now, and we're going to do question 1D. So we're going to press square root, 9, times 10 to the power of down the bottom here, 12, and then press equals. Now the calculator gives us an answer that's not in scientific notation again. So we have to go to scientific notation, and again, our answer has one significant figure. So we're going to go to scientific notation with one significant figure. So we're going to do shift, mode, 7 for scientific notation, and we want one significant figure here. And there's your answer, 3 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, the next question that we're going to do is 1J. So we're going to clear our calculator, go back to normal mode, shift setup, 8 for normal mode, and 1. We're back to normal now, and we're doing 1J. So open bracket, 2, down the bottom, times 10 to the power of, 5, close the bracket, up here to the power of, negative, 2, and that looks the same as this, so we're ready to press equals. And there's your answer. Now this one already is in scientific notation, so there's no need for us to do anything. Just write that answer down. Okay, we're going to do one more question, so let's clear it. Shift setup, back to normal. One there, and then we're doing question 2C. This one here. So we're going to press what it says. Open bracket, 9.1 times 10 to the power of 20, close the bracket, divided by, open bracket, 3.2 times 10 to the power of down the bottom here, 5, close the bracket, and press equals. Alright, there's our answer. Now that answer is in scientific notation, which is what they've asked for but it's not to three significant figures. In fact, it's to one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. For the number of significant figures in scientific notation, you're only looking at this part. You don't need to look over here at the times 10 to the power of at all. 
So we need to get this now to stay in not scientific notation but to go to three significant figures. So we're going to go shift mode 7 for scientific notation and we want three significant figures. There's your answer. You can see it's got one, two, three significant figures. So there's your answer to that question. So we're going to do a few more in the next video and you can watch me doing a few of the harder questions on the board. Okay.